Paul, big game this weekend, coming up against Portadown. I mean, obviously the disappointment from last Friday night, dropping points against Large. But this is going to be a massive test for the boys, obviously show what character we'll have, obviously getting into this big game here on Saturday. Well, obviously Portadown's come down from a premiership, so um, there, there are many uh, people's pre-season favourites. Mm -hmm. So definitely going to be a big game for us. Um, every game now is big, as, as we've seen the last home game. But there, if you, you know, every game of the championship is uncompromising. Even the game against ours on Friday night, I was happy enough, you know, that we didn't lose the game because we're still very early on in the season. There's only four games in, and most teams, the first nine games, are always going to be finding their, their rhythm. So we're no different, and um, we, we're expecting a really difficult game. Um, but as I say, we're we're quite comfortable with what we're doing at the minute, and the players are in decent form. Yeah, I mean, Portland themselves haven't had a really good start themselves. I mean, they lost there on Tuesday night themselves to Bangor, but I mean, they look up here, would you say, on Tuesday night, or sorry, Saturday, to prove a point against us? Would you say that? Well, I think it's just like any they've, they've lost one, two, lost two. It's a silly season, and the championship's famous for teams you know, taking points off each other. And that is just typical championships, second tier football anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's England, Scotland, or Northern Ireland, it's the same thing. Um, mm -hmm. We have to make sure that we're at our very best. It doesn't matter if we're playing Portadown, Derby, or Newington, or whoever, we have to be on, on the money. Um, and that's what Portadown's obviously come to terms with in this league. You know, if you're if you're if you're not on the money and you're a wee bit off it, then mm. you know the, the effort of, of the teams can can do you. And that's what this league, league's all about is good solid effort. And if you don't have effort, then um, which obviously ultimately cost us against Derby, then you get what you deserve, and that's nothing. And how's the mood in the camp after Friday? Is the mood reasonably okay after Friday? Or still doing okay? Yeah, it's good. It's very good. At the end of the day, you know, we were one up with six minutes ago. We could have. Had the game out of sight in the first half, we lost, we missed a couple. They make a two. Um, in fairness to them, being the home team and being on that pitch, they came after us in the second half. And maybe we should have managed the game better. But as it says, because it's still early season, um, we're still finding our rhythm and we're still finding what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do it. So I don't have any main complaints. But at the minute, I'm more than happy with the squad. Players are good. They're looking forward to Saturday. And I've got a, I'll have a selection problem because of one's coming back to, from from injury as well. So. It's a nice problem they have having a full a full squad to select from. And we just made the announcement today that uh, we've got a returning face to the, the club for at least until Christmas time. Michael Arredis is back on the squad again. It's great to have Michael back in the mix. Obviously, we spoke to him earlier on tonight, there, and he's in good spurs. Obviously, being back at the club, I mean, just wanted to get finally your thoughts on it today because it's a good to have a such a key player. Obviously, he was a key player of us last season. It's good to have him back again, at least for half a season, at least. Well, Michael, we've always we've been looking for a second goalkeeper. And it just came up actually after the Derby match. He was here that there was a possibility we could get him. So we spoke to Glenn Torn and luckily we have got him. Uh, short term agreement suits us anyway because we've brought in Yusef. We've been happy with Yusef, but I think he's been quite surprised about the standard coming on from like he's played conference level last year, you know, National, yeah, La National League, which is level five. So um, he's still adjusting. So competition for, for him will do him a power of good. Um, and Michael, as you say, was a great star with last year. He played, put on some top performances. So the fact now we've got two top goalkeepers, I think is a good testimony to us as, as, a, as a championship club. Well, it's a good statement to make as a club. I mean, obviously, you've made a few signings over the summer now with the window shutting. Obviously, are you happy enough with the business you conducted over the summer? I would say so. Listen, it could be there's things. You just need to look at the figures with a budget that's there. There might be some movements before Thursday. Ah, it's highly unlikely. But football, you know, one thing I've, I've, I've learned is you never be surprised. There's always something around the corner. So there might be a possibility of bringing in another player. But it's highly unlikely. I'm happy enough with the squad that we've got. We've got a nice mix of youth and experience. And as you say, now at the two ends of the pitch, we've got good players. And don't forget, we've got Park House and Tiernan O'Connor to come back into it as well. They're getting their fitness and they're starting to look sharp again. So. As it says, we've got a, a nice balanced squad which uh, can do well, you know, once we click.